change. It is hockey day in Canada, but one Victoria couple isn't in the mood to celebrate their favorite game. After being bilked in an online scam for NHL tickets, they thought they had the deal of the decade. Then they lost $1,200. Bruce Kirkpatrick reports. It's hockey day in Canada, and Dwayne Norman is watching it all in his Esquimalt home. Dwayne and Jessica Lester had hoped to be in Vancouver to attend tonight's game between the Canucks and the Flames. They bought tickets on usedvictoria.com from a seller who said he was moving and couldn't use them. Dwayne and Jessica asked for documentation, including a copy of the seller's BC driver's license, and proceeded to buy online 16 regular season games for $1,200. $37.50 per game each. They called the Vancouver Canucks office and verified the seats being offered online were held by season ticket holders. So they wired the money to an address in England, and today their money is gone. No tickets. It seemed like it was pretty legit, mm -hmm. that everything seemed in order. We checked and checked and checked, and yeah. everything seemed in order. Any chance of getting that money back? Probably not. It turns out there are similar NHL hockey seats being offered on used Toronto, used Ottawa, used Calgary, and other sites. Super deals that don't exist. We're so sorry that that happened. Um, honestly, it's a, it's a terrible thing, and we'll do anything we can to help him out, uh, especially if he can get uh, the police involved. And then once they have the warrant, then we can go further and help the police take legal action. Dwayne Norman and Jessica Lester say they took their complaint to Victoria Police. They pretty much said, thanks for the story, and see you later. Western Union has told Dwayne and Jessica an investigation is underway. I had spun, spelled the name wrong on the money order and everything, and they still managed to pick it up through from Western Union, obviously using a fake ID with the wrong name on it. So I'd like to know how that happened. A 29-year-old disabled with back problems and a 27-year-old who works at Walmart part-time and goes to school with two kids out $1,200 unless someone can track down whoever in England is scamming people in Canada over NHL hockey tickets. It's the one-year anniversary today of the 2010 Olympic Games and it's